Well, the state of Illinois is making headlines today as it becomes the first state in the country to eliminate cash bail. And this basically takes away bail as a condition for someone being released from custody. The power of two's Chris Renier is in Edwardsville to explain what the new system exactly means. Facilities like the Madison County Jail just behind us here will certainly be impacted by the new no cash bail system in Illinois. Authorities say the new setup does not mean that every suspect will simply walk out of jail after they are taken into custody, but there are significant changes that will impact who remains behind bars before a trial, including people charged with serious crimes. We can show you a past video of the Illinois Supreme Court. After a legal challenge from virtually every state's attorney, Illinois' highest court upheld this new law. Here is how the new no cash bail system will work. We're told starting today, police must issue citations for suspects accused of low-level misdemeanors. Those suspects will be given a court date and then simply released. For crimes that are more serious where a suspect is arrested and remains in police custody, the final decision about whether that person will be released before their trial starts will be made by a judge. There has been controversy about this system overhaul. Opponents have raised safety concerns about certain suspects being released while they await trial. But supporters call those concerns fear-mongering and say cash bail systems punish people who are poor and can't make bail. Some low-level offenses that require release include petty offenses, certain misdemeanors, people charged with burglary where no one was hurt, and battery without great bodily harm. More serious offenses, though, where suspects can remain behind bars include domestic battery, stalking, predatory criminal sexual assault, most gun charges, and murder. However, even suspects charged with murder are eligible for pretrial release if a judge determines that they are not a safety threat or a flight risk. People currently in jail, like here in Madison County, can now petition the courts to be released before their trial starts. But victims must be notified if a suspect is being released while awaiting trial. Reporting in Edwardsville, I'm Chris Fournier.